Hey, Elevens. How are you? It is Queen Cooley. So glad to be back with you. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I am outside today before the sun goes down with my friends because I was so tired of being inside. It's so beautiful. I hope you're all doing really well. I wanted to make you this video because I have talked to so many of you and you are all, it seems, or a lot of you, myself included, going through some trials. And that means you're going through some, some static. You are perhaps what I have heard is you're at the end of the rope. You feel as though you're very unhappy with your life. You are ashamed of where you are. You are broke financially, physically, mentally, spiritually, your relationships are okay, but you're just very unhappy. You feel like you should be, you should have earned much more money by now. You should be in a different position, a different place. And you're just very unhappy, very, have a lot of anxiety, um, a lot of depression, not eating great, not sleeping at night and just not happy. So if any of this resonates with you, I just want you to know that one, I hear you, I see you, and you're not alone. All of us go through this. I have been feeling incredibly attacked over the last six weeks. So it's not just you if you feel that way. And the more that people told me this, I knew I needed to make a video for you because I wanted to encourage you. And I wanted to let you know that what you may be going through may not just be you, you may be under a spiritual attack. And I say that because anytime I have learned that anytime you go through, you're already for your next level, whether you're just about there or you've just started or crossed over, you're going to be attacked mercilessly in every single area of your life. Physically, um, it could be something like you don't look the way you should, you're too fat or you're too thin, or you don't have enough muscle, right? You're just not enough. You're not okay, right? It could be at work. You're not holding your own. You're not earning enough. You can't pay all your bills. You are, or you are, but you're deeply unhappy. You know that you're not using your gifts and you should be. Spiritually, it could look like I don't have a relationship with God, spirit, the universe, um, Buddha, whatever that looks like for you. So I feel lost and alone. I don't have a team that I know of. I don't speak to anyone. No one's talking to me, even though I ask, right? So that could be you. And if it is, I want you to know that you are not alone. You are a divine sentient being, not just a human, okay? You're here for a reason. You sat down before you came here and you agreed to everything. And I know a lot of people say, why the heck would I have agreed to all of this? Because when you come out the other side of something difficult, you can always understand that you learn something. And that also the things that you are going through or have gone through at this level will not prepare you or help you at this level. When you get to the next level, you need to be stronger and you need to move differently because what worked before down here will not work up here, right? So what do you do? What do you do if you feel all of this and you're ang and have anxiety and you're depressed and you truly don't know what's what to do? Well, for one thing, I want you to know, stay in faith, whatever that looks like for you. I had heard continue to stay in faith, not fear, for fear will only revert you backwards and that will not serve my house. Anytime that you are operating from fear, you're operating from a lack, lower energy level. Anytime you have fear, anger, frustration, um, you're unhappy, you're sad, all of that's lower level. And remember guys, everything's energy. You already know this, but they're saying, tell them again, everything's energy. So if you're um, vibrating low, you're angry, you're sad, you're frustrated, you're mad, whatever, that's what the universe hears and says, oh, you want more of that? Let me give it to you. And that's why people always say it goes on and on and on versus at a higher level, which you get to, right? With gratitude, I'm so thankful and happy with what I have, no matter what it is, food on the table, a roof over my head, clothes on my back, the people around me, whatever that is, that level, when you put that out there to the world, 
the universe hears that and says, oh, you want more of that? Let me give it to you. It makes a big difference. So watch what you're saying to yourself. Watch what your words are. You know, you can either help yourself. I'm amazing. I got this. I'm going to, and if I don't know the answer, I will get the answer. I have help from the realms. It's there. Maybe I don't see it all the time, but I know I'm not alone. They're there helping me because they are, right? Try to practice that as much as possible. Um, the other thing is that when you're being spiritually attacked, the reason that this is done is because they know, the dark ones, as I say, they know that you have an amazing light, right? You are growing, you're changing, you're learning. They can see what you can't. And they want to stop that at all costs. And that's why a lot of us as 11s got attacked when we were children. Because they knew that you would have an amazing light. And that if you have a dream inside of you and something that you want to accomplish, you will accomplish it. Only you can accomplish it, no one else. But they want to squash that. Well, too bad. Too bad. That's not happening. But when they attack you and tell you that you're less than and you can't do this and you can't do that and you don't have enough money, enough opportunities. Those are all triggers. And that sends you down into a spiral of you hearing the same old tape over and over. I can't do this. I'm not enough. And then you just stay stuck, right? When you hear that, no, kick that to the curb and understand that the only way for you to transition is to let go and surrender. Now, a lot of people think that surrendering is weakness. I used to think that but surrendering is actually one of the greatest tools you have in your toolbox. Why? When you surrender it's saying, I can't do this by myself. I need help. I surrender. I surrender all of me, everything. That act of faith allows the good stuff to come forward because now the universe is saying, ah, okay, they get it. They get it. Now I have a way by them surrendering and room for, which you have to make room for, the good stuff to come through because you have to understand on the 3d realm, it, all this around within me and around me in my, my aura in my field is only so big. So if I haven't been protecting myself and I'm still receiving other people's junk, right. And they're throwing it everywhere and I'm picking it up because I wasn't protecting myself. And even if I am protected, sometimes I still pick it up. If you're not releasing it, saying, I release what's no longer mine, back up to the realms with love, let it go. If you're not doing that consistently, what happens? Now you have their yucky energy and your own, and now you feel stuck and heavy. So you've got to release anything that's not yours and release all the junk, all the negativity as much as possible. If you could do it every day, all the better. And the other part is that I know it's comfortable to stay where you are, even though you want to move forward and you want to do amazing things. I understand, but you have to know that to move forward, you've got to have the where with all the energy to do so. And I know it's going to be uncomfortable for you to move forward, but you still need to do it if you want to move up and change the world. So I just wanted to leave you with this. If you need help in any of these areas, uh, I'm happy to help you. Let me know if you want to have some sessions. Everything will be in the description box as well as the Brave Academy is open. And that is for three months. It's three modules. We talk about mindset. We talk about blocks. We remove things that are keeping you stuck. We bring your gifts through and you are the divine sentient being you are here to be and set you on fire. Let's go. I want to leave you with this. This is what I was told. Remember, you have thoughts and feelings that others don't even understand. We are deep as 11s. Many will not understand what you do or your gift. They will be skeptical. Let it go. Don't worry and don't fear. Only those who are enlightened will know it's light. This gift is your birthright and it's a strength. It cannot be bought, learned, or found. It was bestowed to you by the almighty with your gift, right? They see blessings and they recognize that when you lift your heart to the Lord, good things happen, right? Surrender daily, accept his will. And also 
be flexible and sway like a tree and flow like water. This is your strength. This is what other people have a hard time with, but you can do this easily. Trust is never, or is always earned, not given. Showing kindness and holding sacred space for yourself, for others, for animals, so that they can breathe deeply and feel it's okay. Not imposing your will on them gives them freedom to just be the same that they want for you, which is being yourself. Holding space for the timid is the same frequency, right? Strength. Remember to keep shining your light. Do not let your thoughts run wild. Limit them, but don't limit others by thinking they can't or can't do this. Don't worry about other people. You just do you and move forward and allow in success, allow in space for relationships to bear fruit. And just by being you and who you are, caring and giving and loving. Okay, guys, I would love to work with you guys. If you need my help, let me know. And if you want to join the Brave Academy, let me know. Let's do this. Let's change the world. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Thank you.